love it. Hey guys, welcome back to Gone Wild Australia. Before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button and comment down below. So in this episode, guys, you're gonna see us get through a cyclone, go through a river crossing, meet some awesome locals, and getting out of a bog. So guys, stay tuned. This episode is nuts. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy. Guys, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Let's go. Let's go. Yay! Brooke's about to flick up the drone right now. You gotta check out this lookout that we're at. We've just driven past there and we had to stop. It's still like 35 degrees, but it's absolutely pelting now. Tropical weather, baby. This weather is so tropical. Literally four minutes ago, I had the drone up, and the weather here doesn't give you any warning of rain. It literally just like, it'll just go bang. The, the roads flood really easily over here because if you get this rain for a long enough amount of time, they're gonna flood and you're gonna be trapped somewhere. I mean, that bloody hot in the Northern Territory for the past month, I'm gonna enjoy this rain. Oi! Woo! This is what it's about, baby! Kinda of scared, cause I am on the highest part of the mountain down here. <laughs> That's not good. We got bins, we got a fireplace, we even got a table to do our editing and eating on. And then we got the river just straight down there. The other night we were camping under some trees and literally a branch almost squashed our awning. So just make sure when you're camping, if there's a lot of trees around, just go in an open area where there's where there's no trees that can potentially squish your car. Round two, Brooks going for the ham and floaty approach. So I've just caught this, literally just reeled up just then. So there's obviously life down there. Subscribe to Gone Wild Australia. Put your finger on it. Oh! 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 Okay. I'm sticky. I smell the worst I've, I think I've ever smelt. So I'm in desperate needs of a shower. And it looks like it's about to thunderstorm soon, so I think we're in luck. I'm not having a fun time. This whole swag is damp. It's like I'm sleeping in a swamp right now. So I'm super itchy as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to the van. So after Bo's sleepless night, we are heading off. I've tried fishing here and there's absolutely no fish here. I've tried three hours this morning and not even one bite. So we're gonna punch up two hours to a new camping spot and hopefully we can catch our first barramundi, fingers crossed. There is a river crossing and we don't have a full -wheel drive. So Bo's checking the depth. There are crocodiles here, so he's just being cautious. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm about this much from the bottom of the door, but we just got through the deepest part. <laughs> wow. Whoa! <laughs> that was exhilarating. That was wow. <laughs> wow. Guys, keep in mind, like, to a lot of full drive people, that would be nothing, but we literally have a van. Like, we don't have a full drive. That was insane. Insane. It's a two wheel front, front wheel drive. So, like, that is scary. <laughs> Woo! The lengths we go to to catch a fish. He's gonna either flatten the truck, the truck's gonna flatten him. How'd you get out, mate? Now check out all these cows here. I wanted to film them because I've never seen cows in like a tree forest area, just usually in open field. Yeah, if I was a cattle I'd probably buy a drone just to try and cattle up all my cows because Work, this perfect. seems to be working great. Right? Yeah. That's we're officially bogged. Good timing. Out of that one. So I'm with 
Tony right now. Absolute legend. Tony's the one that got us out of the bog in the tractor. And he has a buggy. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite Quite a Barra Mundi competition in Northern Territory It's called the Million Dollar Barra What happens is, if one of these barras are caught and they have a red tag You get $10,000, so the Daily River here at the Daily Douglas is where the two Barramundis were caught consecutively. So that was absolute. You're an absolute legend. <laughs> He's like, welcome. Yeah. yeah, welcome to Douglas Daily. Yeah. Come on, Douglas. How are the crocs out here? We've got two saltwater crocs. Oh, okay. Only little ones, 2.5 metre, 3.2 metre. Little, little for you. Little salties. <laughs> yeah. The saltwater crocodiles from the Daly River. Then we've got to trap them, get them out, make it safe for people in the dry season. What, what type of traps? Chicken or? Uh, pig legs in them. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Find some roadkill and uh, chop them up. Chuck them in. Bait yep. them up. And see what we catch. You! <laughs> First cast. Yes. Wow. Yes, we're on today. It's just straight through the forehead. <laughs> yeah, let's throw him back in the drink. Yeah. Alright, so Tony was going to take us to this cave that was underground and we're going to film for the next episode. Apparently it's really hard to get through and it's really narrow. We're going to do a 24 hour challenge in the cave. But it's all covered with water so we couldn't do that. So, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Not sure what it is yet, but that's kind of what we love about making these videos. The next video will definitely be a survival challenge. So we're going to see if Tony can figure out a spot for us to spend 24 hours. So hit the like button guys, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. Oh, yes.